one of the questions that I'm often asked or one of the conversations I find myself often having is doing takeoffs inside of Magnet Office. Magnet Office is capable of doing uh, takeoff and it has a uh, pretty extensive list of, of tools and features that help this process. We have to look at how to start, and there are two big ways we can start. We can import the PDF and convert the vectorized data into CAD entities and utilize that. The other option is to put the PDF in as a background image and digitize the information that's there. Now, depending on the quality of the PDF, depending on you know how I'm most comfortable working with the information, there is no real right or wrong answer to which method is the best. Some people prefer to import the PDF, have it convert the data, and simply clean it up and prepare it for takeoff. I prefer personally to digitize. Digitizing it allows me to organize the data that I want, only digitize the information that I need, and kind of control it as it's coming in. So that's my preference. I'm faster this way. One is not more right than the other, okay? When we put the PDF in and we're going to digitize, what I want to talk about are the fact that there are several ways to go about digitizing, again, depending on the data you have and depending on what you're trying to do. Now, the first rule with, uh, with Magnet Office and the takeoff process is the more information I give it, the more information I can get from it. OK, the same thing applies with how much of this information I give it. So when we look at a site plan like this and we have all these elevations, I can say, you know what, I'm going to digitize the proposed contours and then I'm going to tell it where all of these areas are, these islands, parking lots, buildings, sidewalks. I'm just going to tell it where it is, use the finished contours for the surface and get my quantities. That's going to produce an accurate result. Now, if I want that to be more realistic, if I want more detail to this, then I'm going to give it the elevations that I have for all of these features. So all of these face a curve, back a curve, flow lines, I'm going to give it all of that information. The more I give it, the more I can get out of it. OK, so those are the questions I'm going to start asking myself before I begin is what am I trying to get to? I need a quick down and dirty takeoff. That's the way I'm going to proceed. Now, I want to do just a few things. I want to show a few of these options. So I'm going to do insert a polyline. OK, and I'm going to do the gutter here. I'm not worried about elevation. So I'm simply going to start tracing what's there using a polyline. Now, my right click will give me my additional functions such as arcs. Okay, and we'll come here, we'll come here, we'll do another three-point arc, I'll go to the midpoint, we'll come to the end point, I'll come interior, interior, here, arc three points. Now I'm being a little um, uh, simplistic with this one, I'm not too worried about my details, I need rough, I need quick, okay? arc three point again we're going to go here i'm going to right click to get my snaps and i'm going to go to the end point that line is now done and my first one is in so i can use the commands that are already in here my basic drafting functions polylines and streams i could also take advantage of tools that are built into the software to make this process easier Okay, so where I inserted the PDF, I have trace functions. When I trace, I can do freehand pick, which is going to be very much like using that polyline. I can extract the data from vectors, or I can auto trace. And when I auto trace, I can set parameters, such as look at lines with gaps. These existing contours, for example, have gaps. What are those gaps? What parameters, what controlling parameters do I want to apply uh, to make this work for me? Auto trace allows me to pick on the vector. I'll hit escape to save that. And it says, there is your building line. Okay. 
Let's change over to existing contours. We'll use the auto trace. I'm going to adjust the settings to give me what I want. <coughs> and I'm going to set the elevation. I'm going to reduce the number of things I have to do. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and elevate as I'm going. So there's the first line in at 568. If I read my prompt, it's at elevation 568. To change it, use the plus key on the keyboard. Okay, there's 569 plus to change it. Five seventy is now done. So that's the auto trace. I could also do this using the from vector option. So I'll set my elevation and I'll come in and do the pick. <coughs> now in a case like this, I don't necessarily want to spend all day picking each of these segments. I can go ahead and skip to only the important parts. Again, how detailed, how much information do I want to give it? Is it important for me to hit every one of those segments? If it is, do it. Okay. What we also may see are things like this. That's not what that's supposed to do there. The backspace key on my keyboard will undo what was done. and allow me to clean this up. So maybe my approach to this one is I do need to pick all of those vectors. Okay, so see using the back key and simply changing how and where I'm picking allows me to get through those things pretty easily. Okay, so we'll do one more. I'll pick this one because this is a little uh, hairy here. So 572 is my elevation. Okay, and so I find with these, as I get into these tight spots, the more information I give it, oftentimes the better my result is. So see how cleanly that went around that. Sometimes it takes just a little bit of time uh, practice going through these and, uh, you know, working with that command and getting familiar with how it's trying to process those vectors. Okay. Sometimes in those tight areas, I need to pick a little bit more. I need to be uh, aware of that backspace ability to undo what I did and to keep working until I get this the way that we want. Okay, so those are a couple of examples of getting the data in to Magnet Office for takeoff. This is the example of digitizing from the PDF to get that information and some of the commands that are available. For more content like this, for more help, for more training, please log into your MyTopConNow account and see the other amazing content available for Magnet users today.